Let's talk uh, pedal mechanics here and uh, specifically talk about single leg drills. Um, first, we've got um, your lower, your, your big chain ring here, okay? Um, the bottom bracket and the, the crank arm. And when you pedal, uh, your pedal stroke is divided into four uh, sections or quadrants or whatever you want to call it, okay? So if this is my big chain ring here and you've got um, the four quadrants here and we call this the uh, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, and most people call this top, 12, whatever. Um, if you think about this, and right now we've got our crank arm in the three o'clock position, okay? So as you come down into the stroke, you want to be pushing towards your front wheel, okay? So we're gonna be pushing towards the front wheel, then we're gonna come down from three to six o'clock, and we're gonna be pushing forward, okay? as if you are dipping your toes or the bottom of your pedal into mud. So right there, into mud, okay? This is a terminology you'll hear a lot. You dip it into mud and then you come back and you wipe the mud off the bottom of your cleat, okay? And you wanna be going backwards towards your back wheel. Okay, then this is probably the weakest out of all of the uh, four quadrants that we have, which is the nine to 12 o'clock. And with this, we wanna be going up, or some people would say high knees. Okay, this is your hamstrings right here, but this is probably the weakest section of every cyclist is the, the nine to top. So what can you do to improve all this? Well, besides visually recognizing where to have your cleat and how to push and pull, um, there's some drills you can do, which is called single leg drills, or some people call them isolated leg drills. But um, I'll show you an example of those right now. In either case, here are the quadrants, and you wanna break it up into four, just like this. And then when you're on your bike, um, you can visually practice each of these zones with your pedal. All right, so let me show you some drills. Now I personally like to do these drills during my cool down. Um, you could make a, a whole set if you'd like, um, but I like to do them personally on my cool down. Um, I typically will build, so I'll do 30 seconds on each leg, 30 seconds off, and build up until I get to about probably six to eight of those. Then I, I build the time and then build the intervals on top of that. So the first thing we wanna do is recognize the position though. So right now I'm at the top of the stroke. Now I'm at three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, okay? And you can go in here and if you, you want, you can do some isolated drills where you're just going from top to three, 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 and then you can go three to six, 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 then six to nine, six to nine, six to nine. Now this one, you're really engaging those hips. Okay, and then the, the weakest one, nine to top, which is High knees, high knees, high knees, high knees. All right, so that's an isolated drill. You can do that, kind of recommend a stroke. Then once you get that down, go ahead and pedal. Unclip one foot, and then single leg drill. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. So do 30 seconds on, 
pedal with both, unclip the next one. Now if you watch your chain, you can see if you have any dead spots. The other indication is you hear that sound if you're making the uh, clicking noise in your pedal, and that's a dead spot too. So watch your chain, if you see it going backwards at all or stopping, try to recognize which part of the pedal stroke that's in, and then you can work on that specific area by isolating it in the drill. And if you're on a power meter, I usually like to go about 50 to 60% of FTP, kind of keep that resistance. Right now I just have it, have it off, so I don't have enough resistance, but just to kind of give you an idea. But see how when there's too much resistance, I'll click there up at the top. So high knees, high knees, high knees, high knees. Anyways, incorporate these drills into your next cycling workout and uh, let me know what you think and happy training.